Adam and Jamie are preparing to embark on a road trip up to seven hours round Altamont Raceway, all to find out which gives you better fuel economy, turning on the AC or rolling down the windows. It'll be enough to give them white line fever, and it could get dangerous. This test will not be fun. I'll have to pee, I'll probably have to poo before this thing is done. I'll have to be holding it in. The producer will be taunting me on the radio the whole time. The wheels are gonna be screeching. We'll have a tire blowout at some point, I'm sure. And that's exactly the problem. At 55 miles per hour, the blowout danger is too great. Safety officials insist on a shorter test at a slower speed. Plan B, using this pump, the guys will empty the SUV's tanks and then put exactly five gallons of gas into each one. Seems like a good idea, but it's a lot easier to put gas into a car than to take it out. Well, the plan seemed really simple, but uh, in classic Mythbuster style, bringing a couple of cars to a racetrack, running them till their fuel is gone. Five hours into it, and we haven't gotten started yet. <laughs> As it turns out, the tires weren't going to last on this track for a full tank's worth. And so we're reducing the amount of gasoline that we're going to have to go through to run this test. It's turning out to be a big job. Everybody has to take their turn at the pump. A little music helps pass the time. Finally, the gray SUV's empty. So it all starts again with the white one. At last, both tanks are dry. Well, we're finally ready to do this bloody test. These cars are out of gas. We're putting in exactly five gallons in each car. And we're gonna drive them until they run out. Looks like we're ready to roll. But well, almost ready. Okay, there you go. Ah, here we go. Ready to go. It's going to be cold in here. Gentlemen, start your engine. Roger that. Starting now. Roger, starting. We are running. And away we go. Remember, these are identical vehicles carrying identical amounts of fuel and identical payloads. Because of safety concerns, Adam and Jamie will stick to 45 miles per hour. Jamie's gray SUV has the AC on full and the windows up. Adam's vehicle has the AC off and the windows down. Five gallons of gas in each, which will stop first. We are cruising at 45 miles per hour. Round and round they go. Where they stop, uh, nobody knows. It's getting pretty chilly in here. I'm glad I brought my coat. I pity the poor cameraman who doesn't have one on. <laughs> it's kind of hard on your neck going around like this. kids, this test is being done by professional drivers on the closed track. Your results may differ. The computer test showed that blasting the AC was more fuel efficient than driving with the windows down. But what's this? Jamie's AC-cooled SUV is slowing down. Yeah, I'm coasting now. Jamie's car just cracked out, and mine's still going strong at 45 miles per hour. Looks like it's more fuel efficient to drive with your windows down than with your AC on. I don't get it. So Adam, what do you think? Are you gonna keep running for another half hour or what? I don't know, when I come in, I think we're just gonna have to bust this myth and say that the fuel efficiency is better with your windows down than with your AC on. Yeah, that's sort of what the test says, isn't it, over? I would not have called that at all. I'm really surprised, I'm shocked even. 30 laps later, Adam's naturally ventilated vehicle finally runs out of gas. Oh, man. I feel like I'm leaving like this. 
that totally confounded my expectations. There's no other way of interpreting it. We've gone over all of the, the facts of what went on here. I ran out first by running the AC. Yeah, 15 miles ago, that's 30 laps that I did that you didn't do. I mean, I'm just like, it's, I'm totally surprised. And I hope we've answered it once and for all. Yeah, that's a significant difference in consumption, isn't it? Let's go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> versus AC, what's the verdict? Well, the computer showed that it was actually better to run with the AC on. Not by much, but it was better. I've got a little bit of a problem with that, which is the computer's actually measuring the airflow into the engine, not the fuel consumption of the engine. And it's basing its assessment on a computerized model under ideal circumstances. Yeah, our average Joe test was pretty straightforward and kind of foolproof. You know, we put so much gas in, we ran for so long. And it pretty definitively showed by almost 15% that running with the windows down was a lot more fuel efficient. Yeah, that's a pretty significant difference. So AC being more fuel efficient, I'd say bust it. Bust it. Yeah. <laughs>